Hi, so I just wanted to make a few small tips if you're studying for your TSI test. The main tip I want to let you guys know is that you should be studying from the official TSI practice test. No other tests that you should be practicing from other than the official TSI. How do you find this? You can go ahead and you can type it into Google. You can write official TSI practice test and make sure you type, you click on the link that says AccuPlacer. It should be on the AccuPlacer.org website. And when you download it, it should be blue and it should look like, the first page should look like this. This is the practice test that I want you guys to study from. This is the thing that I want you guys to focus on and I really want you guys to master. Only 20 questions, go through each one of the questions, practice how you can solve it, practice solving it again and again. Make sure you know how to do each one of the skills that is in, involved in each one of the test questions. Now, there have been some people to say, well, Miss Amber, what do I do if I get to the point where I know how to do this problem, but I don't know if I'll be able to do like another problem again and again? Well, I have created a practice test for you guys in addition to this. So this is the official one, but I've also created an additional practice test. And what it does is for each one of these questions on the practice test, I have sample questions for you to do over and over again so you can practice the same skills over and over again. That way you can really be sure that you've mastered the original test taking skills. The only disclaimer I wanna make is that this test has just recently updated. So make sure that today you go on to the AccuPlacer website and that you make sure that you have the updated TSI math practice test. There's five questions that have changed from either a month before or maybe two months ago. It's, they've changed five of the questions. So this practice test that I have that's gonna be linked in the description below, it's based on the one from a month ago or two months ago. But the good news about that is that the majority of the questions are the same. The bad news is that I'm going to have to update four or five of the questions. I haven't done that yet, but in the future, I will make a video going through the additional five questions and just giving you guys some extra practice for those as well. But if you do want the practice for the majority of these questions, then you can go ahead and you can follow the link below and you can go ahead and purchase that practice test. I just want to make sure that you guys are studying from the right thing. Don't waste your time, especially if you only have a couple weeks to study. The problem with the TSI is that it is an AccuPlacer test. And so a lot of students will see AccuPlacer test questions all over the internet and they start studying them all. However, if you're studying for the TSI test, you should only refer to the TSI practice test or practice tests that replicate the TSI practice test. You shouldn't deviate too far from it, or you may be studying in too, of a, too wide of a range that you don't master any of the skills. So be specific in your studying, go over the practice test as many times as you need. If you want additional questions, you can watch some of my videos, but you can also um, purchase my practice test and then you can go over those again and again. That way you can see if you've actually mastered these skills. Also, I want to let you know that I am working on a TSI math course, but because the test just updated, I'm now having to include those updated test questions. So it may take me a week or two in order to update my TSI, TSI course, but you may be watching this in time for it to have been released. So just check the description. Either it's going to say TSI coming soon, or it may already say TSI is here and show you the link to it. Anyways, I want you guys to do well. Please let me know if you found the new TSI practice test to be easy or if you found it's a little bit challenging. I've actually been very excited about the changes to the TSI practice test because some of the hardest problems that the students were struggling with has, they're gone now. The only thing I would say is they included a trigonometry question, but honestly, it wasn't as difficult as some of the other questions that were on it. So I'm very happy that they've updated the test. I hope you guys are staying on track. And again, as always, happy studying.